Hello, and congratulations to the Arms Control Association on your 50th anniversary year. Working on arms control and nuclear weapons policy has never been easy. The details are highly technical, and the potential consequences of a miscalculation utterly catastrophic. These are issues that are rarely at the forefront of public debate and yet require constant, sustained work over years, even decades. Over the last 50 years, thanks to the determination and skill of diplomats, experts like you, and organizations like the ACA, arms control has come a long way. At times during the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union possessed roughly 30,000 nuclear weapons apiece, a far cry from the much smaller stockpiles the U.S. and Russia have today. Over the decades, successive rounds of negotiations, confidence-building measures, and treaties and other agreements showed the world that progress on arms control and nuclear weapons is possible. But the challenges we face today are different from the challenges of the Cold War. Vladimir Putin's premeditated, unprovoked, unjustified, and utterly horrific war against Ukraine has had profound consequences for the security of Ukraine, for the security of Europe, and for the security of the entire world. As the United States and our allies and partners have surged support for Ukraine and imposed severe costs and consequences on the Russian Federation, Putin and senior members of his government have even threatened to use nuclear weapons against Ukraine, which would be an unthinkable escalation. The world is facing challenges related to nuclear arms well beyond Russia. The People's Republic of China has accelerated the buildup of their nuclear weapons capabilities. The DPRK has held an unprecedented number of missile launches this year. Negotiations are continuing for a mutual return to full implementation of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action with Iran after the previous administration withdrew from that agreement. The United States continues to believe that arms control is necessary to safeguard the security of the United States of our allies and partners, and indeed of the entire world. We continue to see arms control and deterrence as complementary and mutually reinforcing and as essential to global stability. But arms control agreements only work and work durably when both parties are taking steps to ensure mutual security. Before Putin's all-out invasion of Ukraine, the United States and Russia had held constructive meetings of the Strategic Stability Dialogue. Because of Putin's actions, we have suspended the SSD. Our last remaining nuclear arms control treaty with Russia, New START, which President Biden extended on his first day in office, will expire in 2026. It is a welcome sign that consistent with New START, Russia provided the United States with advance notice of their launch of the new Sarmat ICBM in April, ensuring that we were not taken by surprise. None of us knows what the future holds, but I know the Arms Control Association and its members are as deeply engaged in the difficult and vital work of finding solutions to the challenges we face today as you have always been. It will take all of us working together, government officials and diplomats, academic experts and scientists, activists and organizers, to come up with new and innovative approaches to strengthen transparency and predictability reduce risk, and forge the next generation of arms control agreements. Thank you for everything you do, and congratulations again to the ACA on this momentous anniversary. Thank you.